how to fight fair in your relationship. Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothing.com. I am fucking that stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. Guys, today I want to talk to you about fighting fair in your relationship. Now, I used to work for a guy who had been married at the time about 25, close to 30 years, okay? And uh, one night, we were at a sporting event. There was another guy that joined us, and he was bragging about how he and his wife never fight. They've never had an argument in the whole time they've been married. And uh, my other buddy and I looked at each other. We looked at him and I said, you know what? I'm gonna tell you something. If you've never had a fight in your relationship, one of two things is going on. Either one of you is always caving in and doesn't fight back, or you both are afraid to address topics that are concerning to you and that you differ in opinion on. Boo! That's a mic drop moment right there, boy. Well, he disagreed with me, of course, because he wanted to save face, but I'm talking to my boss like that, right? I mean, in all seriousness, it was in good heartedness, but I meant what I said because I've never seen, I mean, think about it, even just yourself, right? How often are you at conflict even inside that internal conflict where you're trying to make a decision or you're not sure which direction you want to go, you know, what to do, and maybe you're fighting with, like, um, struggling with, like, bad habits or behaviors, things like that, and you fight with yourself. I mean, you're an independent being. You've got a unique set of life experiences, DNA, everything and so anytime you bring another person into your life and your two are going to be you know so close this is supposed to be the closest person in your life to you there's going to be conflict if you're both healthy and honest and know who you are and what you want okay it's just the bottom line even if one of you just knows and the other person's outspoken there's going to be conflict but a lot of times I see that there's little things that people do when fights start and a lot of it can be avoided. Believe me, I've made every mistake in the book. Ask any of my exes, and none of them live in Texas. I don't think they live in Texas. They, may, they might have tried to get as far away from me as they could and went to Texas. But uh, So here's the deal, guys. The great Stephen Covey in his uh, writings, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. If you've never read that book or listened to the audio version, I highly recommend you do, okay? The first habit, seek first to understand and then to be understood. It's very powerful, right? It sounds like something just you'd see on a plaque or you know, you just say in passing, but you gotta really think about those words and how it pertains to relationships and especially when there's conflict or fighting. So, if instead of going on the offense, let's say your partner says something that you disagree with or that offends you, first, seek to understand. You don't have to reply. You don't have to say anything in response. You don't have to get defensive. You don't have to lash back out if what they said hurt your feelings. The best thing you can do is give your partner a chance to fully explain what they mean. Okay. Now, maybe they're in the right. Maybe you misunderstood what they meant. Maybe they just needed to elaborate a little bit more and give you more context of what they were talking about. But in any event, most of us, and especially if you're a male and your girlfriend or wife um, says, they'll, they'll usually say the same things, right? I often, I, let me qualify this. I'm gonna get myself in trouble. You'll often hear this more often than not, at least I have in my experience, from women. He just doesn't listen to me. He just doesn't understand. Okay, and I hear men say this as well, so I guess you could throw that out the window. 
but that's just from what I, um, my set of experiences. So you neutralize that part of the argument and can possibly bring resolve by trying to understand, seeking to understand exactly what your partner is telling you. Okay, number one, it's gonna give you more clarity. Two, it's gonna show her that, or him, depending on if you're male or female listening to this, it's gonna show them that you actually care and you're taking the time to try to understand what their gripe, grievance, concern is in the relationship. It's very powerful. So first try to understand what exactly your partner's talking about. A lot of conflict, a lot of uh, arguments and fights can be neutralized by first just clearing up any miscommunication or misunderstandings that could be happening by giving your partner, uh, showing them patience and letting them fully explain what they mean. Maybe they say something with a little bit of harshness to it, but when you're calm, cool, collected, looking them in the eye, relaxed, and just telling them, hey, I, I love you, I care about you, I'm just trying to understand where you're coming from, you know, help me, because I don't want to hurt you, that's never my intention. Boy, oh boy, that's going to neutralize that fire quickly, okay, depending on the offense, okay, and if you chopped up her baby sister, that might not work, but if you, you know, were late for something, or you did something and weren't even really aware that you offended, that's going to come in handy for you. So seek first to understand, then to be understood. That's all I got for now, guys. I can give you a million examples because I am a motor mouth in a motor car. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Send your questions in the comments. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Enjoy your day.